Ladies and gentlemen, gape in amazement and awe as I attempt to tame this ferocious creature! Yaw! Yaw! Back I say! Back I say! <laughs> you see, everyone, this is a dangerous situation to be in, but I am an expert! Yaw! Yaw! Get a rope! Don't! Yaw! Oh, oh. What's going on? I heard screaming. Brandon, stand back. I am now trying to tame this ravenous beast. That's the ravenous beast? Aw, John, come on. It's just so cute. You can't not pet him. Hey, <laughs> little no. Oh, 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 Brandon! Everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And I've got to go, so goodbye. Brandon, what are you doing? Nothing. I, I, I just, I can't do the show today. Oh. Um, so maybe you could get someone else to do it with you. Or, um, <laughs> yeah. or you could do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. We've done that before. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nope. There you go. We got, uh, I just, what, for whatever reason, I just can't do the show. So, uh -huh. <laughs> toodaloo. Uh, uh, goodbye. Why do you want to leave? I don't want to leave. I have to. I have a dentist uh -huh. appointment uh, for, my, for my teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, no. What do you, let me see that. I have, uh, also, my cat needs a haircut. Oh, she, yeah. She needs a haircut. Sure. And um, I've got to get candles at Target. Mm -hmm. uh, those three things. And other than that, uh, many more things. So, see you later. Goodbye. Brennan, why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anything. I always act this way. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just need to go, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. No, nope, that's all right. Nope. Oh, he right. looks good. Here we go. Whew. What's going on? The fact is, I'd rather not be here when our guest arrives. You mean Clarabelle Cupcakes? Oh, yes, her. <laughs> What's wrong with Clarabelle? What's wrong with Clarabelle Cupcakes? She's great. She's hilarious and, and kind, a, a friend to humans and animals alike. Plus, she made me this amazing balloon sword. Arr! I get it. I get it. But afraid of clowns. Why? Clowns aren't scary. They're friendly. They'll give you free balloons. I know. I do. I, I Stop. Sorry. There's just there's something about them. I, I, I don't know if I'm worried that a balloon is going to pop or, or they're going to spray me in the face with their, their, their flower that's filled with water or they're going to make a joke about me and everyone's going to laugh. I don't know. But it's all supposed to be fun. I yeah. know. It's probably just in my imagination, but I just can't help it. Uh, okay. I understand. I but go. there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay? There's a lot to be afraid of. I will be here to support you. We will be here to support you. <laughs> so put down the coat and the hat. Go have a seat, and let's try to meet our guest. You ready? Hmm? Fine. <laughs> Please welcome someone who knows stuff! <laughs> well, I guess that we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh! oh. That was a nice entrance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, this is great. So, um, <laughs> who are you and what do you know? I'm Clarabelle Cupcakes, and I am a clown. Maybe you can tell from my nose. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You'll need to excuse my friend. He's a little shy around clowns. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to make you a balloon animal? No, thank you. Okay. okay. So, Clarabelle, uh, what made you want to be a clown? Oh, well, my mom hired a clown to come to my sixth birthday, mm -hmm. and it changed my life. <laughs> Watching him make everybody laugh just really inspired me. I wanted to make people laugh, too, so mm -hmm. it was an easy choice. Plus, I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Not a fan of feet. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, uh, what are some of your favorite gags? <laughs> well, everything. Uh -huh. I mean, balloon animals, oh. and face painting, squeezing a bunch of us into a tiny car. Ah. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and well, everyone loves a squirting flower. Not everyone. Oh. <laughs> Clarabelle, I'm so sorry. Could you excuse us for a second? Of course. Great. 
What? Can we? Yep, yep. Hey, pretend like you can't hear it. Okay. <laughs> I get it. You're afraid of clowns. I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Listen, I understand that facing your fear can be really hard, especially when it's right here in front of you. <laughs> but I need you to trust me right now. I'm just, I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I've got your back no matter what, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Could ask Clarabelle some questions, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can do this. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. So, Clarabelle. Yeah. What's your favorite part of being a, a being a cl cl who, clown? What's your I got it. <laughs> well, that's an easy answer. Every weekend, I go to the children's hospital and visit the patients. Oh. You go and visit sick kids in the hospital? Well, yeah. I mean, life is hard if you're sick or in the hospital. So I like to show up and help the kids think about something else for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe put a smile on their face. Hmm. Well, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is anyone ever, you know, afraid of you? Well, sure, but you want to know what I do? What? <laughs> I let them give a little squeeze of my nose, <laughs> and that usually makes them feel better. <laughs> you want to try? I mean, come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm not so scary. I mean, who can be scary with a nose so silly? <laughs> <laughs> Th thank you, Clara Velvet. Thanks for coming. Oh, sure. <laughs> My pleasure. I'll see you guys later. Uh, ah! <laughs> see? I know. Bye. 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 <laughs> she even leaves funny. Uh, so how are you feeling? It wasn't as bad as I expected. Well, it usually isn't. So you still want to leave? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> what? How did you... It's Bible story time with Kelly. Hey guys. Hey Kellen, how goes it? It goes well. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a guy named Jacob. Many years before our story, Jacob had tricked his brother Esau out of his inheritance. At that time, Esau wanted to kill Jacob. So Jacob ran away. He started a family, he had a bunch of kids and raised a bunch of animals. But then God spoke to Jacob. God said, go back to your father's land and to your relatives and I will be with you. So God wanted Jacob to go back home, which meant Jacob would have to face his brother Esau. And Jacob was real worried about it too. Huh? Great. A talking donkey. Doug. Doug the donkey. How do you know Jacob was worried? Because I was there. I see. Jacob didn't want to go home. That's why he'd stayed away for 20 whole years. Because he was scared of Esau. Well, you're not real, but you're right. Jacob was worried, but God promised to be with Jacob. So Jacob headed back home. That's right. He set out with a whole family and all us animals. And when we got close, Jacob sent out messengers to Esau. I can verify that. Who can? I'm Cammie, one of Esau's camels. I was there when Jacob's messengers showed up. When Esau heard his brother was coming, he sent a message right back. Said he'd meet him, sure. Along with 400 of his men. So that had to make Jacob more worried. Was Esau still angry after all these years? Was he bringing an army? So Jacob came up with a plan. Yeah, some plan. He separated the people with him into two big groups. He even separated all his flocks and herds into two groups. He was thinking that if Esau attacked one of the groups, then the other group could escape. 
I was just hoping I was in the escape group. Then Jacob made the smartest move of all. He talked to God. He asked God to keep him safe. He sure did. Then Jacob sent Esau a gift. Well, several gifts. He sent goats and cows and sheep and camels and donkeys. Not me. Jacob sent his brother over 500 animals. Yeah, all day long these animals kept coming. And the messengers kept coming too. These animals are from your servant Jacob, they said. He's behind us, they said. What was Jacob thinking? That he could buy Esau's forgiveness? Well, he wanted to make peace with Esau. Esau already had camels. Okay. The next morning, Jacob looked up and saw Esau, <clears throat> Saul's brother, and the 400 men approaching. So he separated his family into groups. And then Jacob ran ahead to meet Esau. And then Jacob stopped and bowed down. He bowed down seven times. But when Esau saw Jacob, he got up and ran towards him. We all held our breath. <gasps> Esau ran up to Jacob, picked him off the ground, and hugged him. <sighs> Can you believe it? Esau forgave Jacob, and they both cried with joy. Their families were reunited. Yeah, I guess God really was with Jacob all along. Yep, 20 years is a long time to fight with someone. But in the end, Jacob finally made up with his brother. Thanks for your help, Doug, Cammy. Yep. No problem whatsoever. Jacob had a good reason to be worried. And we all worry sometimes. But it's important to know that you can trust God even when you're worried about something. God was with Jacob. God is with you. So talk to God. Ask God for help. Tell God how you feel. It could be what you're worried about isn't as bad as you think. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, what are, you, what are you doing there, Brandon? Well, now that I've faced my fear, I think I can see the appeal behind clowns. Oh. Check it out. It's a dog. Oh! I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. It's fine. Me too. Reveal the question. Oh, yeah, today's question is what do people worry about? Oh, people worry about so many things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some people worry about money mm -hmm. or their health or, or the weather. Yeah, some people worry about clowns mm. or speaking in public or being in tight spaces. Oh, that's me, yes. Yeah. Well, whatever you worry about, remember, God is with you. That's right. And mm -hmm. we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yeah, we will. Huh? What? I don't know why it's not working for you. I don't know. All I Can do I is... try it? See? It's easy. Uh, you're, you're, oh, you're okay. in a box. You're trapped in a box. <laughs> oh, I was okay. going to say, uh, uh, flying a kite. <laughs> oh, oh yes. yes. You're so good at this. Okay. Right, tying, double nutting. Tying, tying the other shoe. Oh. 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 I tied one shoe, yeah, then, then, then I makes, tied the other hey, shoe. So, can I try yeah. to do mine? Yeah, come on. Uh, oh, the Declaration of Independence. No. Oh. You're a signing a contract for a new house. Okay. Yes, I Thank was you. signing the deed. Yeah. Oh. Isn't it a cloud house? Hey, I'm everybody, here. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is Clarabelle. And this and is I'm the Clarabelle, the cloud. <laughs>